You're looking live at the new Music City Center downtown, where right now superheroes are leaping out of the Marvel Universe and into Music City. The second annual Wizard World Comic Convention just kicked off, and that is where we find Fox 17's Eric Alvarez, who's just teleported himself from Fox 17 there. Eric. Well, I'm already seeing hundreds of comic book and sci-fi fans here right now, but organizers are expecting, believe it or not, tens of thousands over the next few days. But if you really believe Comic-Con is only about superheroes, think again. Of course, there's Spider-Man and Batman. Robots, celebrities, and tons of merchandise. I think it's a great thing for the city. It'll bring lots of people into Nashville, and I think people have a great time. But there's a lot more to it than that. It's not just comics. Allison Sandlin says Comic-Con is a place where she can be herself. I love that people love the way I am, and I don't want to change that. And where outside, there might be insults. Being like, oh, what are you doing? Why are you dressed like Spock? You're weird. Inside. They're like, yeah, that's awesome. Can I take a picture of you? And you can't really do that anywhere. Here at Comic-Con, it's not uncommon to see people dressed from head to toe as their favorite superhero. Now that might sound nerdy to a lot of people, but here at Comic-Con, just about everyone says there's never been a better time to let your nerd flag fly or to beam on out to the Music City Center. Right now, geek is she. Mark Ballard runs Comic City, Tennessee. And he says from Star Trek to Superman, nerdiness is all the rage. Between the TV shows about geeks and geek culture to the movies the t and everything else, Geek is where you want to be right now. And even if you think you don't like comics, some say it's best not to judge a book by its cover. Everybody can enjoy something here whether you're two years old or 82 years old. It's, it's good, clean fun.